Hello, you're welcome to a bright new day. This is the day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Tony Abba, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to A Light for the Nation. It is a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. Today, Reverend Father Christopher Ike Guano is telling us more about the meaning of God's mercy. Good day, friends. I hope you had a splendid night's rest. We thank God for this wonderful day, and we trust and believe that God will join with us throughout the course of the day, and in the end, give us victory. Amen. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you for this wonderful, beautiful, best gift of life you have given to us. It is an indication and expression of your mercy. Father, having shown us this mercy, help us to be able as well to touch the lives of everyone we encounter today and always mercifully so that we all, in the end, we have the beatific vision in heaven with you through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, our reflection today is titled the meaning of mercy the meaning of mercy some time ago i went with a priest to one of the big shopping malls in the heart of abuja and after getting the few items we wanted to buy we came to the counter to pay and unfortunately at that point in time the power supply went the light went off and the lady at the counter she couldn't function and we told her, ah, you cannot function anymore. She said, yes, that without light in this life, nobody can do anything that they cannot continue. We told her, no, that that's not true. That without power supply, there are many things that can be done. Many things can be done that even where she's working, the counter, she can do the work manually. And there are some persons who don't have light, who are existing and being sustained. Then we now told her that the only thing that if we don't have that, we cannot survive, is mercy, divine mercy. Divine mercy is that without, with which if we don't have, we cannot survive in life. So whatever it is, you can survive without so many things in life. But what is sustaining us today is the mercy of God. Divine mercy is our life support, our support system. Divine mercy is the oxygen that we breathe. The main mercy is God himself. It's God himself. And because we have the mercy of God, we are surviving today. Divine mercy endures forever. Divine mercy forgives conditionally. Divine mercy heals absolutely. Divine mercy rules eternally. And divine mercy is inexhaustible. So many things can be locked down. So many things can be shut down. A few months ago, about a year ago, we had an issue of total lockdown because of corona, coronavirus pandemic. No problem. But then we survived. But one thing that cannot be shut down or locked down is the mercy of God. Because divine mercy is eternal. It is there for us, for you, and for me. Now, in relation to God, what is mercy? To help us to understand better. We we'll talk about divine mercy in relation to God. To help us to understand what we need to comprehend about this mercy. The spelling of mercy is M-E-R-O-C-Y. The M of mercy means mercy of God can never be merited. Mercy of God can never be merited. And I take you to Psalm 130, 130 that says, If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who will survive. Without the mercy of God, we cannot survive. There is nothing you and I can do on earth, my dear friends, to make us qualified for the mercy of God. Mercy in itself, as God is giving it to us, shows that we are not qualified for it. It is God out of his own mercy who is giving it to us. If you pray from now to December, you cannot be qualified for the mercy of God. We are even told that the righteous man sins, sins seven times in a day. So, and that should also make us not to take the mercy of God for granted. The E of mercy means everything about divine mercy is contained in the life of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ is the summation of divine mercy, of mercy. That is why we call Jesus the divine mercy incarnate. And so I say this, that the incarnation of Jesus shows the reality of mercy. His birth shows the fulfillment of the promise of mercy. His whole life shows the concrete manifestation of mercy. His death shows the ultimate proof of mercy. His resurrection shows the triumph of mercy. His ascension so shows the expanded presence of mercy. And his second coming will show definitely the glory of mercy. The next letter of mercy is R. R means relationship is bilateral and not unilateral. Relationship bilateral means it's a two-way thing. It is symbiotic. It's not just one-sided. Most times, some of us think, we think that when we are showing mercy to somebody, compassion to somebody, that we are doing the person a favor. No. You are also doing yourself a favor. In this document, Divers Misericordia, by Pope St. John Paul II, he told us that the person who is showing love or showing mercy to somebody else, yes, materially, you are showing love to that person. But conversely, also you too, you are benefiting spiritually from what you are doing for that person. So that is why relationship must always be bilateral. So do not be thinking that, ah, because I've given this person money or given this person something material, it means that the person is the only one benefiting. Each and every one of us are benefiting when we show love. The C of mercy means complete trust is the essence of the divine mercy devotion. Complete trust. Without trust, completely, my dear friends, we cannot get the mercy of God. We cannot get our blessings. Because most times, when we are even praying, some of us, we have doubts. Some of us in our relationship, we have doubt Because of the situations of life, doubt may come and we begin to question some things. No. When you are praying to God, when you are requesting for his mercy, for a change of life and for miracle, make sure you have the complete trust in God. It, that is the essence of the divine mercy devotion. This is why the prayerful slogan of the divine mercy devotion is, Jesus, I trust in you. It is a prayer that we must always carry out. It's not just a greeting. And you know, not just a mere greeting. It's a prayer, meaning that we place all our trust in him and he will not fail us. Then finally, the why of mercy means your work of mercy is your ticket to heaven. Your work of mercy is your ticket to heaven. And the church has done so well to give us the corporal works of mercy and the spiritual works of mercy based on the teachings in the Bible. So, my dear friends, we must try as much as possible to see that we carry out the corporal works of mercy and the spiritual works of mercy in all that we do. That is what will guarantee us heaven. We cannot be on earth having received the mercy of God. Then we do not give the mercy out. By the way, there are three steps to mercy or three steps of mercy. The first one is mercy given. Mercy given by God to you and I. The second step is mercy received. Mercy received from God by you and I. Then, thirdly, mercy returned. Mercy returned, not to God. God does not need the mercy. It is you and I that need the mercy. God gives us the mercy, we receive it, and we return it to our brothers and sisters. So, my dear friend, let us try as much as possible to spread love wherever we go. Forgive, and also try and see that you are an ambassador of mercy. And God will help us through Christ our Lord. Having heard about the true meaning of mercy, let us do our best to change life, to touch life, and also let the mercy of God change us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty God be with you and bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Reverend Father Christopher Ikeguanu is a missionary priest of divine mercy, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe you have learned one or two things from his reflection on how to understand the true meaning of God's mercy. If you have questions and you want to share, please send us a short message on the numbers showing on your screen or send us an email at ctvnigeria at yahoo.com. Or better still, like our Facebook page, post us a comment. Let's continue the conversation there. You can also subscribe to our YouTube page. Just type Catholic Television of Nigeria, click the subscribe button and click the bell button and you'll be sure to watch previous editions of this program. Bye for now and have a lovely day.
Lord, in your embrace.